Hello everyone, my name is Sonicify. You can call me Michael, Michael Curtis. I'm here to show you what it's like to be me, aka I'm going to show you behind the scenes of what it's like to make my videos. Let's get started. So let's get started. The first thing I do is start voice acting. Now if you guys know me very well, I always voice act in my videos. Or some of my videos, but sometimes I do voice act in my videos. And this is going to be one of those cases where I'm voice acting. I, as you can see, I have GarageBand open and my mic ready. This is a really good mic. I recommend it to anyone who can get their hands on it. Now, as you can see here, I'm warming up my voice so that way I'm able to voice act into the microphone. Let's see how it goes. Hello, I am e now, there is something to keep in mind in this situation. You're never going to get it right on your first try. So always practice and drink lots of hot water. It'll loosen your vocal cords so that way you can actually voice act very well. And, and you will eventually get it right. Now, as you can see, I'm editing as I'm recording, so that way I know what to take out and put back in, or put in, or leave in. Now, now as you edit your audio, you want to make sure you put the bloopers at the end, just in case if somebody wants them to use them. And always make sure you do more than one take when you're voice acting, that's what I always do. So I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video, let's move on to... at filming. The second thing I do is start filming the scene that I'm voice acting in. Now, as you can see, I'm currently in my laundry room about to film a scene. As you can see, I have my tripod and my camera ready. Now, in order to get the tripod on the camera, I have to screw it in. It's not like any other tripod. It's one you gotta screw in. It's one of those professional tripods that I'm borrowing from school. I go to college, yeah. So anyway, I screw it on, make sure it's nice and tight. And then I put it on the camera. Now let's start getting to the good stuff. This is basically me about to film a scene for one of my plush videos. So now I'm filming a scene with the character with the plushie in my hand. As you can see, I'm adjusting the focus so that way I know what to know what it wants to look like so it looks clear. And now I'm finally ready to shoot the scene. Here we go. Hello, I am E123 Omega. Now, as you can see, that was basically a blooper. But like I said, you're never going to get it right on your first try with this either. So it's best to keep trying until you get it right, or s close enough to being right, to being filming friendly. Then once you're done with the scene, you pack up everything and move somewhere else to do the next scene. Or if you're doing the scene here, you've moved to another spot. Or if you're doing the same thing in the same spot, you just keep it there. But let's, let's move on to editing the video, shall we? The last thing I do is start to edit the final video. Now as you can see here, this editing software is Final Cut Pro. Here, let's see if we can get a closer shot of it. There we go. Now this is Final Cut Pro, the, the normal software that I use to edit. As you can see, I am now editing a green screen shot of a character named Vector in a store, trying to look for cookies. Now as you can see, I am editing really hard on this. I'm adding sound into it, and I'm turning down the soundtrack to make sure it's perfectly balanced. Now the editing is the most important part of the show, or the video. And basically, it, if you notice something in the editing that a shot is wrong, you have to do, redo it. Otherwise, it won't look good in the final cut. This is also where I do most of my effects, so that's really important too, finding the right effects for the videos. And this is basically, once you're done, you hit render it, and then it's all finished. And anyway, that's all the time we have for now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching.